It is a tradition in the Nashwalk Valley on New Year's Day to go for a polar dip. It started sometime back in the 70s, over 40 years ago. They'd cut a hole in the ice, jump in, and then after they climb back out, they go get warm and have a party. The Nashwalk Polar Dip has taken place at different locations over the years, but for the last few years, people have been gathering at the bottom of the flats a few miles downriver from where I live. Last year, I got invited by my friend Andy to come down and witness the polar dip and act as a spotter. This job meant that I would go down near the water, standing near the edge to help anybody that needed it. It's been a relatively cold December in the Nashwalk Valley, and the ice was over 10 inches thick. The work crew arrived early in the morning around 10, shoveled off the area. The many friendly faces of the work crew are all locals who've participated in the polar dip over the years. They cut the blocks up into large sheets and then they would push them underneath the edges so that they don't have to pull them out of the water. These guys were so good at doing this, it didn't take them any time at all. Although they were efficient, they took their time because this is a chance to get together and share stories and visit with old friends. Now that the ice cold river swimming pool is all cleared out, it's time to go home and get ready. At one o'clock sharp, Donnie, who is Andy's father, signals to everybody to jump into the water. It was a nice warm day and it seemed like everybody had a great time. There was lots of laughs. I got to meet a lot of great people. For some, the polar dip is the best day of the year. Better than birthdays, better than Christmas. It's just awesome. And for many who come to watch and help, it's a great day to share some memories and to reconnect with each other as well.